that you've gone through in three years? Yeah. Um, From a number standpoint? Yeah. Um, you know, I, the Coach Maisie and all the coaches have done a great job with getting the guys they have in here. Um, you know, a lot of guys from down in Texas, from where he's from, Oklahoma. Um, and I'm just I'm glad that he was able to get guys like that in here because you know, I feel like once once West Virginia becomes more popular and the tradition gets stronger, that more guys are going to want to come up here and play. Um, you know, for a lot of guys that are down in you know Oklahoma, Texas down there, you know maybe. Texas doesn't want to, you know, recruit them, or you know, maybe they don't want them. So that's a good chance for them to come up to West Virginia. So there's there's different uh, obstacles with it, but uh, you know, I've got to know all the new guys a lot, and it's nice. Just uh, I've been here for four years, and I've got to know you know so many new people that I'll still keep in touch with for the rest of my life. So it's really nice to just get to know new people and learn from you know what they went through and learn some things that you know they know from baseball too. So I like that a lot. Thanks, man. Thank you. So that move is official. You're back in the infield. Oh no, no, I, no. no I, I, I don't. I don't. You don't. I don't have any say on that. But um, is there a chance? Um, yeah, I, there could be. I don't know. Um, I'm just going out there and playing as hard as I can, and you know, whatever happens, happens. But um, you know, obviously, injuries are part of the game, and the last thing I would want is for somebody to get hurt. But you know, I've, I've been able to play different positions, so you know, we'll see what happens. What's the dynamic like with the, you, you were talking about the new guys and just in terms of how they've meshed and come together? Can you talk about that aspect and what it's been like? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's been it's been great. I, honestly, you know, the first couple of days were first couple of days were a little quiet. You know, it, it was different when you have you know 15 new guys come in here. You know, you can understand freshmen because you're a little bit older and you just kind of feel like you're like the bigger brother. But you know, when you have older guys and uh, transfers come in, you know, it, it took us a while to kind of get really comfortable with each other but I feel like that's just kind of normal but uh you know I've you know one of my best friends now is you know a guy down from Texas that you know I met and it's just great to, uh, you know get to know you know different people like you said so uh I feel like um you know after this year there's going to be a lot a lot more guys from you know different parts of the area with you know Coach Maisie being down in Texas and being at ECU you know and with these coaches I mean they've done a tremendous job you know with with everything with the organization and the practices and everything so far has just been great and I'm so glad that I was able to you know experience this especially this is my last ride so you know I'm trying to gain some more feedback on anything so so far I mean it's, it's been great so I'm just looking forward to it. so those guys those guys have acclimated themselves I mean it's a big change you're from this region over in, yeah. in Maryland I mean a different yeah. climate mm -hmm. yeah I mean there's, uh, there's guys you know texting me oh yeah um, you know, this is my first snow. Oh my gosh, like, I can't believe that. Like, I mean, and then with the weather, you know, last week the high was 12. I'm like, gosh, I don't know how I'm praying for them. I don't even know if they have any sweaters or anything. So, I mean, it's, I, I told them how bad it gets, but I mean, me and myself, I didn't think it would get that bad. But um, they, they all, all the guys that I've talked to have really enjoyed it here. They like it a lot. And they love everything so far. So I'm glad. Part of your game, obviously, is the speed, you know, with your wheels. I mean, do you anticipate running a little bit more this year? You definitely. Think? Definitely. Uh, Coach Mays and I and me and Bobby Boyd and um, you know, Jacob Rice and Taylor Munden and a couple other guys on the team, you know, coaches really try to incorporate, you know, get on base and we're going to be aggressive. You know, in, in the past, there was, uh, wasn't much of an aggressive aspect. It just depends on the situation, which is fine. But you know, for me, when I get on base, you know, I want to try and uh, you know create some havoc and, and steal some bags. So uh, I feel like in the past here, I haven't really been able to uh, really uh, get to my full potential when it comes to uh, stealing bags. And with uh, Coach Maisie and the other coaches, they've really uh, helped me kind of get into more base running aspect of uh, you know, your uh, stealing and your jumps and reading the pictures. So I've learned a lot just in this, you know, these couple of months from the base running. So I'm really looking forward to getting on base and uh, seeing what happens with that. Just, that's a 